add-ons. Let's add on a Deadlands map pack. And uh, we'll grab that one. Let's add that. Uh, Adelon has been successfully added. Great. Launch the game. OK, um, so we've gone over these items here. Your maps. That's what this blue button is. This is where you have a list of all your maps. We added the map pack. Those maps will automatically appear here. So if I open up the Grand Saloon, you'll see that it pops in. And you'll see that for me, it's a little bit dark. It's dark because I have dynamic lighting and the page is set up with dynamic lighting. So if you click on the little cog, you can see how the page is set up. Um, a grid cell, you've got one grid unit, uh, it's square. Um, we've got the grid on, uh, we can see our movement, we've, we're, we have fog of war off, um, all this stuff. You could, if you had a song, you could have that play on load, uh, if you had a, a, a tune that you wanted. Up here, you have your dynamic lighting. Dynamic lighting is turned on. So if you have a pro or a plus subscription, um, what that means is characters won't be able to see the map beyond what the dynamic lighting walls would allow. Uh, Explorer mode is off, daylight mode is off, all these other things we don't need to worry about. Um, but that's why the map looks a little bit dark. What does that mean in terms of characters? Great question. Let's bring out... Uh, our character here and drop him on. Now, because we gave him sight earlier, if we uh, click on here again and we go into the dynamic lighting, you'll see that he has vision. You'll see that he has night vision. Um, you'll see that he emits light. Uh, so let's go ahead and he's not going to have night vision. So we'll turn that off. But um, he does have, he does emit light. And this here now, you'll see how the walls or how that, how those shadows change. Uh, based on where that token is. Now, if you want to see what the player actually sees on a Mac, you press Control L or Command L, and that will give us the view of what he can see directly. Now, the players cannot go through walls, uh, cannot go through doors without you opening them for them, unless you have an API script, which is a pro subscription feature. But if you want to see what the dynamic lighting looks like for those with dynamic lighting, you come over to your layers go to dynamic lighting and you'll see that we have a bunch of black lines and some teal lines and some yellow lines these are our dynamic lighting uh lines themselves so i can select that wall and uh move it to the side and now my player if i go back to my token uh, the player could walk through that door now as a gm i can move them over walls without problems but as a player doing the control, the command L again, you'll see that he can now walk in. But if I come down here, I can't go through the wall. Um, Roll20 has some weird items with the dynamic lighting. It's like even though I'm butted up against the wall, uh, it allows me to see through. So just be, be aware of some of those limitations and some of those things. Sometimes fog of war makes more sense, but uh, we've got you set up here with that. You can also, using this, you can create your own pages. So you can create a new page. Um, this player ribbon would tell you where your players are. They're currently on the start page. You could add in background images there to kind of set the tone. Um, every page that you add here will have uh, the page settings that will allow you to go in and configure what the scale is. So we can change this grid size is equal to one inch if you want. Uh, if you'd rather know the actual feet, you could put it equal to six feet. Um, because even then when you use your measurement tool on this uh, menu over here, if you click on the, the ruler bar, you can then click and drag and it'll tell you that this is three units or 30 or three squares. That's where if you had it set to, to six feet, and it's four squares, it would then say 24 feet or four squares. Um, and, and just know that the squares would be the inches, so you can still do your easy range calculations, that sort of stuff, and still be able to give accurate descriptions of, oh, well, they're about 50 feet, 50 feet away or whatever. So that's, that's how you add maps. You can uh, add maps yourself and, and configure them and, and load them up however you want. You can copy maps by using the copy feature over here. And to bring your players, you just click and drag that over here.